Hello. Let's uh, let's test this uh, this uh, animal and bird repeller uh, on cats. There is a cat now in front of my window, uh, and as it says in this manual, which is a single page, uh, on the second position of uh, this knob, it should repel animals such as cats, raccoons, badgers, skunks. So I will turn this on two. It's all the way up. And let's see if the cat has any reaction. Hmm. I'm not sure if it works or she simply noticed me. I can hear a series of clicks and sounds make, uh, made by the device, but it seems like the cat has no problem with it. Uh, I'm going to turn this to 5, which should mean scanning through all the frequencies and see if this has any effect on the cat. No, the cat seems to be undisturbed. Again on two. No, so the cat has no problem with it. Uh, and in the tree, I'm seeing a pigeon. So let's see. For bats, birds, pigeon. Third position of the switch. Moving on the third position. I don't know if you can see. This is on the third position now. And there in the tree there is a pigeon. Which also seems to be undisturbed. Yeah, no reaction. Uh, I'm going to put this on 5 to scan for all the frequencies. But again, the pigeon seems to be undisturbed. I'm not sure if you can see it in the tree, but yeah. It sits there. <laughs> Actually, another one just came. So, not only that the device doesn't scare them, but it also attracts them, it seems. This being the main reason for which I bought this, uh, this device. Because I'm not sure if you can see on the trunk of the car in front of me. Uh, there is a lot of bird poo. And yeah, I thought that maybe I can scare them using this device. But not really. And the cat returned. She's eating. <coughs> and this device is active on the second position. Yeah, it seems like it's useless. So, that was all. Thank you for watching. Bye.